much for being here. For those of you tuning into YouTube, welcome back to Atomic Heart. We are going further underground into the facility where the worm invaded. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a boss at some point. And let's see what horrors await us down here because we've just had regular enemies thus far like that. What the fuck? Okay, well, that's totally not fucked. But um, I'm really excited to see what types of enemies come and attacks. Like, that's kind of what I'm excited about to see how they all are different in their own way. Because we've just been fighting Flanders bots. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. Okay, so we can swim. So this was the stuff we found earlier, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I about ate shit. Hold on. Let me see if there's anything back here before we... Yeah. I had a feeling there'd be stuff back here, and that's it. Two things. All right, sure. So, funny story. Um, my wife and I, when we were dating, there was this uh, theme park back in West Virginia. It was called um, Camden Park. Don't go there. They there's rides there that are like 50 or 60 years old with like wood that's probably probably just as old. So my favorite ride at the time was always like the tilt a whirl ride, you know, just uh, just a ride that makes you spin. I just like it. You just sit down and enjoy your time. So we get on it. You know the lines are short there because it's not really a big park. There's the control panel. Oh, whoops. And, of course and it's you oh, what kind of lock is things, this? You? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Maybe. Okay. Anyway, so we get on this tilt the whirl. If you've ridden one, it's about uh, like a three to five that? minute ride. Okay. And let me preface. Okay. Well, that's a bug, huh? Find the Dude, calm down. Um, it's about a three to five minute ride, and that's it. It just spins you around on its own, and then it goes around on a track. Okay, pretty simple ride, nothing extravagant. So, as I said, typically it lasts only three to five minutes. This man must have been having a bad day, because he kept us on that motherfucker for 15 minutes. And let me tell you, I was fucking sick. I never felt so bad. Like I've never been motion sick, but but sitting on that thing for 15 minutes will make you motion sick. My God. Okay, so there's level one of that. So uh, can we upgrade the barrel at all? We can. Increases rate of fire, sure. Uh, upgrade available at level two. Don't have the necessary things to do so. Okay. All right. But yeah, there's that story for you. That was terrible. I don't think I've ridden that ride since. I think like since then, like I've avoided it. Listen, Charles. Hush. Uh. Oh wait, that's where we just were. Okay. We're going around this way. What the fuck? Okay, I can memorize that, but that's going to be way harder later. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's whoa, whoa, whoa. Polymer and his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Ooh, that's pretty grim. How long are they going to talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more we'll up the information to find the I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. Damn. Okay, so it's... That, okay, that can get really complicated later. Like, I'll probably literally need a notepad to write it down. Oh, one second. The dogs are at the door. Give me a second. I open I open the door and they go right back downstairs. They'll change their mind in a second. I hope this works. Okay, dude, shut up. 
Fuck me, he's alive. Okay, no. Holy, sorry. Okay, I'm leaving that. Jesus Christ, the dialogue. I know I kind of triggered that myself, but man, there's a lot of dialogue in this. It feels like I'm playing a little bit of a game, then cutscene, then game, then cutscene, then game, then uh, game, then dialogue, then game. It's like holy shit. Uh oh. Oh, well, I'd like to know why those like ropes are just suspended in the air. Oh god, what the fuck was that? Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay. Why? Wait. Why are we going back up? What the fuck? What? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well. Okay, we travel like a whole five feet, ten feet. Oh, okay. Shit. You again. Careful. There's a gap of lynching. I see it. Okay, I did not want to fight those guys in the uh, traditional way. I just wanted to put them down quick. I'm having trouble figuring out how. Oh man. That's how. Okay, well, there's I think there was a third too somewhere. I don't know where he's at. Anything in here? No. Okay. But climb the wall. I don't know. Oh, there. Okay. I shouldn't There's climbing in this game. Holy shit. Okay, I don't know if that's necessarily, like, a good thing to have, but okay, some little bit of variability, I guess. Okay, um, I guess we jump there, or... Okay, well, that works, I guess. Um, I guess jump to the... No, I don't even need... What the fuck? I could have went onto the pipe from there, huh? Okay, well... That works, I guess. Okay, that's a little clunky, but it's not too bad. Oh god, what the fuck? Holy shit. That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes. Oh shit. Really? I wouldn't survive without him. I don't even know what happened entirely. I just clicked away a tutorial on accident. Oh god, this is not gonna be good. This whole playthrough is going to be a little bit rough. I have to go back and maybe, maybe spot it. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. No, oh, no, not the drill again. Okay, you, you go do that. You go do that, Jesus. Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Robs can drill through here. Oh, what the fuck? What even hurt? What? Oh, it was, it kept going through the tunnels. Okay. All right. I wasn't expecting that, but that's on me. Oh god. Oh god Shit. damn it. You again. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. Shit. I don't want to waste shotgun shells on these dudes. Even though I did it the first time, I'd like to not do it again. Oh my god. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Come on, dude, go down. Fucking robot Flanders, motherfuckers. Go just... Okay, that's the tutorial I skipped. The vertical obstacles. Duh. Not that hard to figure out. I wish they had like a tutorial setting that said, hey, I've played video games before. Okay, something's going to hit us or something because the music's winding up to do so. Yeah, here's something. Oh shit. Okay, so we were right there, huh? Holy shit. That 
was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. I didn't even do anything. I just stood there. Okay, so memorize where it's going to be, I guess. Maybe, or just hurry on through before it comes back and does another lap. Charles, that was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Oh shit. Oh shit, where is it? Okay, we're okay. No, no, come on. I need health, I need health, I need health. Jesus, fuck those things, dude. That's going to be a regular enemy like way later where it's there all the time. Can't cut that open, can I? God damn it. It's okay though, it's okay. Um Well how do we go from here? Okay, that's where we go. Uh, I thought there'd be like a few more horror elements to this, but I guess I'm wrong. I took such good care of those wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed machines. And now, oh, the irony. What are you talking about? The Burovs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Comrade? Uh, you worked on the Barovs? You worked on the Barovs? From day one, built just about everything in here. Used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars, just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Borovs. We moved mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. A machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love. <laughs> okay, so that was my fault for skipping that. So I have a fat thumb and it likes to rest on the space bar. And the space bar is sensitive. So I might have accidentally skipped that. It's okay, though. It's just telling us about the tunneling worm. I, I will have to remember not to rest my thumb on that. God, so these people are hiding everywhere to, from these robots, huh? And they just couldn't, they just couldn't do it. Couldn't survive. Oh shit. Fuck, okay. My stop. What a nice trip. Okay, a little bit of frame rate issues, but I think that's the level loading in, so we're good. We are good, we are good. How are all these dudes like dead in place? Like that's what I want to know. Did they just like get the drop on them or something? Oh my god, it's got lasers in there. Okay, sweet, safe room. The game's pretty good thus far. Ooh, do I want the fox? Well, I mean, I can't really do crafting because there's no crafting machine in here. Okay. Uh, I do need more shotgun ammo, kind of. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, a laser <laughs> what well, the fuck? Serious security. Oh, my People God. For a reason. If you see one... That means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, comrade major. Fucking like, like that scene from Resident Evil. Looking for is in fact on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. I mean, if you mission impossible, it maybe you got you got to believe, man. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Well, no, actually the math doesn't work like that. I keep hearing that phrase every now and then like that's not how that that math works at all. Zero out of zero is still a hundred percent. Honey, you're back. What took no. you so long? I... Uh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm oh. shaking. 
Hey, Ski Dog, what's up? I've been pretty well. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us apart. Take off that stupid glove. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. Oh my I god. I'm so gonna punch you. Yes, yes. Oh, Punish me, master. I oh my god. God. Oh, gross. Okay, uh, is that it? Your defense system is okay, what if I wanted other upgrades? Let me get other upgrades. Why will not let me get more than one upgrade at a time? That's kind of silly. Uh, let's see, switch the skills. But yeah, I've been good, dude. Just hanging out, really. Just took a break from streaming for a little bit, kind of reassess what needed to be done, and now we're back. Cartridges get increased capacity. Oh, we need max health for sure. For sure. Uh, hmm. I don't want that. No character upgrades. Okay, so now we're done. Okay, so now we go through the lasers. Crap! That hurt! That thing packs a punch. Alright, so we got a full heal. Ooh, that looks pretty. Uh oh. Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be such enough, Sky. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burab. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. Would it though? It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to chill me. save yourself! Shelling me. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion. Warning. Hey, three. Oh shit. Lockdown. Not good. Not good. But that doesn't do anything then. One shotgun shield deals with those guys rather easily. I do ooh. Oh, come on. He knocked me out of my heavy attack. Come on, dude. They attack so fast. He's pretty good okay. Ooh. But yes, Ski Dog, the streaming says schedule switched. Um, ran off with a mobile power source called a candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. Okay, then we'll candle. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will But I do two streams a day now. Or at least try to do two streams a day. That depends on whether or not my wife goes to work. Um, do one in the morning. That's typically a classic game. We're, we've ran through... Oh, God. All the Sly Cooper games. All the Jack and Daxter games. And then now we're on to one of the Prince of Persia's. And then we're pretty much gearing up for horror month. Is what we're gear gearing up for. Charles, what's that then, birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous Peck 4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree Peck 4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. And then... Uh, what else was I going to say? Evening streams, afternoon streams are more for like newer games like this. So yeah, yeah, I've been kind of re rethinking on how the stream is structured, how many hours a day I need to stream. Scared of what? The robots? Scared of what? The robots? No! Robots kill quickly and simply, but they... 
His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, comrade major. God. Damn. People here getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot uh -oh. ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood. They're in the wall. Can you hear them? They're in the walls. I'm sorry, but I, I really don't want to hear this right now. <laughs> God, he's like me. Doesn't want to hear babble. Okay, he's dead in there. So that's why there our dudes are dead in the vents because there's something hunting them. But yeah, I'm looking forward to horror month. That's definitely something I'm looking forward to. Just just because of the exposure it might get me. Ooh, pistol. Okay. Hell yeah. Was that weapon slot three? I'm guessing. What was it? The uh, yeah, hold tab for the weapon wheel essentially. Okay, all right. Yeah, we don't have much ammo for that, so we're gonna switch back to the shotgun. So you think you're smarter than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you said. No, I said that if I had the same opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be their equal. And I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. We've talked about this a hundred times and you still don't believe me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here. <laughs> the patient's telling the psychiatrist when he's done. That's classic. That's not how that so, works. Do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high Damn probability it. of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily. But the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure of that. There's a guy up here. I thought there was. I could have sworn I saw some Oh no. Okay, just a forklift doing circles or donuts around a dude. Uh, do I need to put that in? Okay, that works, sure. Okay, a bunch of maintenance robots just on the fritz. Again, not reading this. You can pause that if you want. I'm not reading that. So there's like a code in here, which is what I'm looking for. But beyond that, I'm not too concerned about it. If there's something like relevant I can use, then sure. But like, if it's not relevant, if it's just lore, I really kind of don't care. Okay, so that stops that. So that means that probably works on this one as well. Okay, pretty good game thus far. I'm enjoying it. I can't, you know, say anything bad about it, honestly. Let's set, let that go all the way up. Okay. So he's doing donuts. Oh god, it's the warehouse from Indiana. What the fuck? Yeah, that sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. <laughs> Damn. Oh wait, 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 wait. There's a thing in here. So a safe room or yes, crafting room. Well. A little bit of both, actually. Give me some materials. Rem rem yeah, remember to regularly visit repair vendor Nora to upgrade your glove skills more frequently. Major Nichayev, code uh, Access granted. I gotta upgrade my piece. Okay. So we do have the fox crafting material or crafting recipe, but really don't want it that much. Um, how many of these do we have? Now oh, we can craft four. Meal recovers 50 health. Okay. Okay, actually, I need to see if we have inventory room for that. That matters a lot, actually. 
Um, yeah, we have plenty of inventory room, but now we don't. Uh, abilities. Abilities, uh, let's see, your character. Increases your suit's laser resistance. Your excellent physical ability grants you an additional dodge charge. We need that. There's no question about it. We need that one. We need dodge capabilities. All right, let's save. And I guess let's hop in this polymer and see where it takes us, right? Or never mind. There's no point to, I guess, huh? Nope. Unless like there's a path through the roof here, which I really doubt. I think that's just there, but we gotta look for that dude who just got crushed by a robot. Dash while jumping. Oh, you can do that midair. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. That, these things might be hunting me down, so definitely need to. Yeah, do this. It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. Experiment, experimental materials leaking out. That's not good for us. I don't think you understand the definition of good, dude. No, no. Oh god, they're gonna come for me, aren't they? No, I just gotta avoid the tracks. Okay. Missed a jump, but that's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Into the polymer we go, and I guess we just follow the polymer tunnel. Get seen, don't get seen, don't get seen. Fuck! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're all right. Craft one or collect 100 jelly. Sure. Mm. Oh, he's facing the door too. Shit. He saw me. Listen. Okay, two shotgun shells kill those guys regardless. So it's. Uh oh, is there another one? No! No, 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 fuck. No, no. Shit. No, don't you repair that thing. Okay, I guess that disables the uh, drone spawner if I shock that. Okay, well. This is the Luna. A kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. Let's time I go get the lock picking lawyer. We need him right now. Okay, there's one. Well, what do we have here? Can we open this? No, it's just hard locked, okay. I guess we go through this polymer too, huh? Oh shit, this is like, there's literally fish in here. There's something in here? Probably a body or something. Getting out of the polymer is a little weird. Ooh, blueprint unlocked the electro. Okay, that'll be helpful. That will be helpful. Uh, okay, let me guess. She's going to sexually harass me for me to get that, huh? No? Okay. There it is. Uh, I don't think I really want any upgrades. Well, okay, I guess I'm, I have to take this route to get out. Charles. Yeah, that's fine. What does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner. 
For those of you watching live on Twitch right now, I really do appreciate you being here. I'm making some good progress in Atomic Heart. Does this stuff happen to everyone or just me? <laughs> 